I'm standing outside the former uh, slave market in Zanzibar, uh, which not long ago would have been bustling full of African people, uh, taken from the interior of Africa, uh, into, held here into this market by Arabs and Europeans, and then sold into uh, in different parts of the world. If this place had uh, seen a lot of white people die here, it would be one of the most sacred places in the world, and obviously I would not even be allowed to stand here or to wear shoes. But not very far away from where I'm standing is a garage. Um, on the right is a hostel. Uh, behind me uh, is a restaurant and a market. The slave memorial has been reduced to two dungeons because the church that bought uh, you know, this whole area turned it first into a hospital and afterwards when they wanted to make some money they made it into a hostel. But for African people, the Zanzibar trade market uh, or slave you know, trade memorial will remain one of the most sacred um, establishments. And of course from here, as, as a historian, I can make an appeal to the Zanzibar government, to the African Union, to preserve this place and, uh, and, you know, for posterity and for our history and culture.